My name is George Kazandropoulos. I'm the Environment and Sustainability Officer of FISA. I'm Jochen Fiberne. I'm representing WWF International and I'm here because we have a clean water alliance with uh, FISA. Everyone has access to water, which is absolutely fundamental. You know, it's a real challenge to make sure that, you know, a little bit of waste here, a little bit of waste there, doesn't all pull together in one body of water. So you have to really try and open people's eyes to what that body of water is experiencing and how difficult it is to keep that body of water clean. Really get the message over what people can do to help maintain water quality, then we're really moving forward. Water, it's probably the biggest next topic uh, in the environment that we have to address in the coming decade. And I'm very glad that FISA had the, the mindset of taking this step and really try to address issues with us. We see an opportunity to actually work through sports on environmental issues. It's something that, that big organizations like the IOC and FISA also came across. Our strategic alliance gives us the opportunity to communicate to the rowing community widely this message about the global need for clean water. When I used to be a rower myself, I took water for granted, clean water. But now I've seen the, different, the difficult issues that we face in different places in the world and I know clean water is an issue and it's very good that this alliance actually addresses those issues. What we need to find is a way that we actually achieve results through such a partnership. We have the idea that we are on a good path to finding that solution because sometimes it's difficult to make that link. Nature is one of the core values of rowing. We want the rowers, the rowing community around the globe to be proud of uh, their sport, having always into consideration the best practices about protecting the environment. Water is one of the biggest environmental issues that we currently have in this planet. It's, it's a very complex issue. Water quality and water quantity issues mean actually a shared risk for us humans, for businesses, but also for the environment. In 2002, FISA established its own environmental working group. In 2004, this uh, working group presented environmental sustainability policy and guidelines. We have provisions about the habitat protection, we have provisions about the health of our rowers, we have provisions about the reduction of waste, about the protection of cultural heritage, and how the organizers should consult with the wider community when organizing, planning and organizing a world-class event. The challenge for the next phase of this Clean Water Alliance is to make it relevant for the everyday rower and rowing clubs. Can we develop tools that help them um, address water issues from their perspective as well? Uh, can we make sure that the, the good standards that FISA has put up for their own world rowing events can actually be applied at local events as well? And can we do more about awareness building to the global rowing audiences um, much beyond the elite athletes that are here at this World Championships? The need for clean water has to come from the grassroots up and be the legacy of this strategic alliance between FISA and WWF International. World Rowing have a great message, what they're trying to do, you know, it's participation in the sport, it's getting people into the sport. WWF have a, you know, equally fantastic message, it's looking after the environment that we operate in. You know, we are high performance athletes, this is our life, this is what we do 100%. But if we do it in tune with our environment, we don't have to, we don't have to mess things up when we leave. We, have, we can leave things in a better state than when we first arrived. And the work between World Rowing and the WWF really bring that to the fore. And I think as a pioneering partnership, you know, I think it's a really big step forward and I, I look forward to other sports following their lead.